Hello, everybody. Matt Wright, Alliance West Mortgage here um, to talk about you know some of the misinformation and misrepresentation uh, I've been seeing on you know various news outlets and social media about you know recent changes to the way that interest rates are priced. Specifically, you know I'm seeing things that are showing you know someone with a 620 credit score and three percent down are getting interest rates that are you know two three percent back with an 800 credit score and thirty percent down. And that's not quite what's happening. You know, what's happened is a couple of things. Number one, um, number one being the, the way that the risk adjustments are applied to uh, interest rates are based on credit score and uh, down payment um, have changed. And secondly, the potential for risk adjustment waivers. First, um, the the way that uh, what's happened is the higher credit quality buyers, say um, someone with you know a seven forty credit score and twenty percent down their risk adjustments have now increased then you know so there's a larger risk adjustment applied um, to that loan than there was under the old model so they're paying an interest rate about you know an eighth to a quarter percent higher than they were previously um, and on the contrary we have the lower or lower credit scoring uh, buyer lower down payment so say someone with a 660 credit score five percent down they're paying an interest rate that is about an eighth to a quarter percent lower than they were before and so you know higher risk adjustments for higher credit quality and lower risk adjustments for the lower credit quality so the the lower credit score buyer is still paying a higher rate it's just not as high as it was and so the spread has uh narrowed um with as far as the difference in rate for higher credit scoring low higher down payment buyers versus lower credit scoring and lower down payment so the lower you know they're not paying a higher uh, a lower rate um, it's just not as high as it was. Um, secondly, there are a potential option for a risk adjustment waiver. And that is where we would see potentially significantly better rates for these specific buyers. Now, this doesn't matter what your credit score or what your down payment amount is. It's specifically based on if you earn less than the area median income. And if you do, then you could qualify for a risk adjustment waiver, which means there are no adjustments made regardless of credit score or down payment. And you're getting basically the base rate for the day that the interest rate is locked. And this would be the equivalent of getting a rate, you know, like someone that with an 800 credit score and 40 or 50% down, they're going to get a base rate, no risk adjustments, similar to the individuals that are, you know, um, whatever their credit score or down payment is, they just need to make less than the area of income. They will get a likely risk adjustment way greater than if the risk adjustment supplied. So those are the things that are happening. Um, I hope that helps clarify some of the information that you've been seeing out there. Um, any questions or concerns, comments, please let me know. Look forward to hearing from you.